What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out another one of these uh, Series 2, 23-24, uh, 10 box mixers, guys. That features two hobby boxes, four tins, four blasters. And again, guys, for the last X amount of teams remaining, we have 15% off tonight only. And if you buy two or more teams in this break, guys, you have a chance to win the Blackhawks, chase some Bedard, and of course, potentially trying to get his gold Alpers 101. Million dollar bounty on that right now. Uh, just remember, guys, I know it sounds a little wacky. Sometimes this does happen, though. Uh, but this is number three, guys, not number two. Number two is actually still on the website. Down to two left. And we got one left and four. And number five sold out. I know. It, it seems a little weird, but uh, we just got to go what sells out first. And I'm going to mention it here just as I mentioned it in the other breaks. Basically, of course, everything has been coming from fresh cases. I think the hobby boxes is the majority of where we kind of want to know where those go. So basically, the hobby case that we started off with number one is going to end at number six. So like I said, we're just grabbing two random ones from here on out. <clears throat> so basically, one through six is going to be from the same case when it comes to hobby. Uh, blasters, we have 20 in a case. We'll have at least up to break five, which is perfect for that break that sold out. After that, for number six, seven, eight, and so on, it'll be from a fresh blaster case. And then for tins, actually, we'll still be working on the same case we opened up for number one. The tins are only for one, two, and three. So basically, once we start four, five, whenever that is, right, after, we're going to start five, actually. Those will be a brand new case for those tins. But like I said, I don't think for retail it should be a big deal for customers, but I'm just trying to keep it still in line on, on what could still be working on from each case or from each break. But like I said, the hobby were good anyways up until six. If seven and eight were to sell before six... Well, then that'll be a separate case for hobby boxes. But I just wanted to make that clear to people because I don't want people to, under, to get a little upset. Like, oh, no, I thought we would be working on the same case if I sold out number seven before number you know, two through five. But like I said, um, this is number three. Everything's still coming from the same case we've been working on. And like I said, if you grab two or more teams, you have a chance to win. Uh, so let's see. Let's see who uh, has two or more. So Curtis got two. D-Mac got two. David got two. And uh, that is an entry as well. Fred got two. Kev got two. Matthew's the only one that got the Bruins as well as Michael. With the Sorry, Matthew got the Blues and Michael got the Bruins. So both of you guys not in, but good luck, guys. Still going to get some hits there. Nicholas and Patrick got uh, two, so that's one each. <clears throat> Peter got two. That's one entry. Ryan only had the King, so... Only one, not, not another entry into the... You didn't buy a second team, sorry. So you don't get that entry into the giveaway. But good luck with the Kings, baby. Go Kings, go. Tristan with six. So that's three entries. And then William with two. Yanka with two. So that's an entry each. And then Zach with two. So out of the possible 15, guys, we're going to get uh, actually only 14. So there's that. All right, so here we go, guys. Click roll. Four and a six, ten times. Top name and number one gets the, the Hawks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And tenth and final time, guys. Stays with Curtis at nine and ten. There you go, man. Four and a six, ten times. Curtis. Congratulations, you got the Blackhawks. Let me just delete this list now. All right. Also, I just kind of have to fix my focus really quick.
Alright, so we'll go with the blasters first, guys. One to two young guns, at least, but they say guarantee at least one. Look for at least one young gun, but we've seen some blasters yesterday that had two. And these blasters, I think, are 50 bucks, guys. And any other year where there's still great first rounders, you know, number one overall picks that make it to the NHL, I feel like blasters are still the same price as normal. Hobbies boxes are like maybe 150, but with the Bedard effect, everybody's hyped all around him. Chicago Blackhawks fans are, you know, so happy to have him. So hobby boxes are well over $300, guys. Crazy. Now, of course, I feel like the bounty has something to do with that. <laughs> Everybody wants to uh, try to pit that one-on-one -on -one outburst. But it's still pretty crazy. Like, ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. I stacked up the first two, but... There's actually four boxes here, guys. I stacked up two and one. Just stack them all. Matthew Piotras for the Bruins. We'll go over left or right for the checklist as well. Nice. A little Bedard, Leo Carlson checklist. A little ding here on the corner, though, I will say. Obviously, these are always going to be tough to grade. But that will be randomized between David and uh, Curtis. But it will be left or right, basically, like all the other ones. Ty car tie. Dazzlers, Crosby. We got Artur's Silves. Silves. Blaring Ovechkin. And then Uvis for the Florida Panthers. Basically, four young guns and a checklist. We 
Mason, Laurie. I don't think so, Fred. I feel like PSA is... Uh, the way they grade is uh, their standard. Um, and, I mean, they've given big cards nines, too, before in the past. Especially cards that are just as much as a potential Weminyama 101. Um, I know their grading scale is a little different from other places, but... Um, there's always going to be conspiracies of that because it makes it more expensive and la la la. Um, but honestly, Prism this year has been probably one of the best centerings I've seen in years past. Like, it's been pretty good. And like I said, it, you, if you know how P, uh, P, a PSA grades, uh, you know that centering isn't always the biggest factor. You know? They grade a little differently than BGS grades compared to also what SGC grades and stuff like that. But I, I personally didn't even take a look at it. I seen it was pulled. Or I seen it was graded secretly pulled. So I don't think so though, man. They've given a lot of nines to other cards as well. If you're the owner of that card, that doesn't even matter. You're super happy anyways. Yeah, I mean, if that's how you feel too, you, that could be a selling point for other grading companies. I just feel like PSA has established itself as the best ones, so I think, uh, you know, if you have like a personal thing towards it, like saying you don't trust them or anything like that, just know though, right? I mean, if you send a BGS and it gets a 9.5, it's going to sell significantly less than a PSA 10. The only way I think it outtakes it out is when you get like BGS 10s or even black labels, you know? But, uh, I don't know. PSA has their own way of grading it. Like I said, I've seen some cards that, like I said, sometimes may not look like a 10, but the way they do their grading scale it is. Sometimes some PSA 9s look better than some 10s too, so it's, it's always up for debate. But if I ever pull a big card like that, I'm definitely sending it to PSA because it's going to give me an opportunity to make a lot more money if that's what it's about for me. Now, if it's not about that for you, then, yeah, save some money too, honestly. I don't think BGS upcharges, right? You can always send it to them. Very trusted still. SGC also is a really nice one. I like SGC slabs, although they just got acquired by PSA, but they're saying nothing's going to change. But, uh, yeah, it's always a sensitive topic. People agree to disagree. But it's just been proven in the market that uh, PSA is just far more superior. someone grade the uh, CJ Strout vertical kaboom 101 green and it came back with PSA 9 so that's why I don't feel like they always just want to hand out 10s
I just think it was so crazy that that card was pulled secretly. In this day and era, pulling a card that magnitude secretly, and it actually wasn't pulled on camera either. And then secretly grading it. And the only reason why it got discovered is because I think TSA or somebody posted it up, you know? Kudos, man. That's awesome. That's why I feel like a lot of these big cards that we haven't seen yet, like Steph Curry 101 rookie and shit like that from Top Chrome, I just feel like it might even be pulled already. It's just in someone's safe. But it wasn't free though, right? A card probably costs like what is a what does a million dollar card cost to grade? <laughs> oh no no, the one you're thinking of was the uh, the one you're thinking of was the black shimmer. That one was caught on camera. The the black true one of one that was graded just recently. That popped up yesterday or the day before. That was pulled in NorCal somewhere. I think you're thinking of the Black Shimmer. The Black Shimmer got pulled like two weeks ago. That's the one that was live on camera overseas. And then the Black True. Um, was secretly pulled. All right, here we go. Mark Del Gazio. You're telling me both the True and the Black Shimmer were pulled overseas? Then why did it say NorCal yesterday? Bobby McMahon for the Maple Leafs. Jake DeBrusque. Walker Dewar. Johnny Goudreau, Luke Hughes, nice, Leo Carlson, there you go, that's going to go to David Johnson and the Anaheim Ducks, so that's a good one to get right there. Interesting. Someone must be spreading false information online, I guess. Which happens. Ooh, a little bit of a teaser. Porchinski. Raphael. Raphael. And Archer's again. Canvas. Robert Thomas. Zegras. Oh 
Tyler Angle. Young Guns. John Carlson. Billy Sweezy. Come on, we're due for a Bedard in these tins. Connor Zeri. Logan Cooley. Stanislav. For the Blue Jackets. From Yanka. Dominic. For the Wings. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. On key. Oh, Porchansky. Another teaser there, man. More insider. Canvas. There's a Bedard Glossy, though. We'll take that. Anything but Dard. Ty Cartain. For the Kraken. Ooh, man. Imagine we got a Bedard like this. That would have been crazy. Clay Stevenson. Washington. Going to Tristan. Hugh McGing. Sweezy. Wow, nothing in the tins so far. Could be hiding for break number uh, two. Make David Dazzlers a nice little Kempe. There's a Dazzler's Bedard. We will take that. Nice, nice. Wonder what Bedard Dazzler's are going for. Anybody want to look that up for me? Alrighty guys, well, see you later man. The Dar Dazzlers and a Glossy in this so far, and then a Leo Carlson in that. Here we go. Hobby, hobby time. So what it says, clear cut, hobby exclusive, high gloss, deluxe, outburst, red outburst. An outburst gold.
hundred bucks for a dazzler? Thank you, Kev. Well, I'm sure that pays for Curtis's two, two spots alone. I gotta figure out what colors are more short printed because there has to be there has to be some short printed dazzler colors right i mean they wouldn't just be making them in colors for no reason So, other sets started with series one that carry into here. That carry into here include Honor Roll, one in three packs. Dazzler's Blue are one in 12 packs. Oh, okay. The black. Yeah, we pulled one of those black ones yesterday, I feel like. And then there's a. For tough chases, there's Days with the Cup. It says fluorescent isn't part of the first set, but over the past couple years has become a series two staple. Reds are the easiest. Golds are out of one fifty. Blues, pink, okay. Oh, did that go to you? Yeah, I, I know we pulled a black one yesterday. All right, so here we go. So green are the most basic ones with orange, right? So orange is a one in three and in tins. Greens are one in four in blasters. Then we get to pinks, which are one in every 72 hobby packs. Right? And then a normal Dazzler orange is like one in every 12 packs. And then red is one in every 32 tins, which is kind of rare. And then black is the one in every 96. So if we pull a black, that's like super rare. And there is printing plates for these versions as well. So that's good, okay. Now we know. Here we go, two hobby boxes here, guys. Good, good luck. <sighs> Korchansky, man, we began this, we got like four of that guy already. This is teasers, man. Tage Thompson, Tompkins. And actually, Blue Hobby is 1 in 12, I think. Let's leave that on it. That looks nice. Adrian Kempe. Whoa! How about a little clear cut? Clear. Walteri Morella. Young Guns. A Bedard like that would probably be massive. Sweezy. 
the canvas there, that's Evan Bouchard. Again, and Nicholas Ube Kubel. Oh, deep roots, Logan Couture. Minton. Box. Beecher and nice little Young Guns UD canvas Zach Benson. Buffalo Sabres. Uh, who had the Buffalo Sabres in this one? J. Uh, William J. Damon Hunt. And Albers, Brandon Saad. Raphael Lavoy. Tiwa Turvine and Canvas. Come on, baby, come on. Dazzlers. Mercer. Taysdale. Whoa, fluorescence. Those are super short. Those are like little short printed ones. Devin Levi for the Sabres going to William. Travis Connect Me Portrait. Condotta. For the Montreal Canadiens. Maybe one more young guy, guys. Maybe. Matt Murray, UD Canvas. Austin Matthews, glaring. Should be one more, maybe. Damien Giroux from the Minnesota Wild. Tyson Berry Canvas. All right. No Bedard just yet, guys. So remember, Bedard in the hobby cases go all the way up to break six. So if we sell out two and four, it'll all be from the same case as well. But we did get some Bedards in here again, just more on the insert side. Got the fluorescent. Young Guns UD Canvas Benson. We got a little clear. There's the Dazzlers Bedard. Glossy. We got a Leo Carlson and then the checklist. So for the checklist and all the left or right checklists, it'll be left side, right side. Representing that. And of course, we'll top load all these right here, guys, as well. But uh, I'm thinking, guys, there's something big. I don't know. Making us work for it, but could be something massive. All right, so again, I'm gonna go new dice roll, and we're gonna go left or right. Roll. Snake eyes. One, two. Goes to the right side. So for the checklist here, the bigger one, of course, it's going to go to Leo Carlson. And I'll tag it right there, Ducks. 
And then I'll put on the sheet right side checklist cards. I right, appreciate everybody. Number five is coming up next, guys. Thank you.